don't know why I wore shorts. <laughs> Optimism, I don't know. Yeah. Right. I put them on at like 5 a.m. and I went outside <laughs> and I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> okay. So, first things first, definitely. How are you? I'm very well, how are you? I'm all right, thank <laughs> you. So, what I want to start with is, um, you grew up in uh, Hertfordshire? Hertfordshire, yeah. Hertfordshire. <laughs> um, what kind of a musical town was it to grow up in? Was there a lot of music around? Not really. I, my family's very into music. Okay. All of my siblings and my parents like play something. Um, but my town is kind of notoriously boring. Okay. Um, I, I think um, it, there's quite a lack uh, in Chesons, the town I live in, and um, it's quite a lack of like live music venues. And you know, it's a commuters town, so people live right. there to go into London. So it's kind of, it's a bit boring, but there's like other places in Hertfordshire which are quite nice. Um, the, the county capital, Hartford, has a couple of really cool venues that I've sort of played out a couple of times. You know, there's some good places, but yeah, where I live is pretty, pretty stale. Okay. Would you mention your parents were into music? Mm. Is, is there maybe a record or two that, that sticks out for you? That what, they, that what they, they like? used to play? Um, my dad, listens to a lot of a band called Wishbone Ash. Yeah, yeah. Um, trying to remember Angus. It's one of the albums I sort of grew up listening to by them. Because um, he he loves them as well as maybe, I don't know, something like the White Album by the Beatles I would listen to sure. a lot, which I listened to actually on the way here. Okay. Um, which is one of my favorite albums. So. Well, th this is going to be a silly question then, but what, what do you like about the Beatles? Why are they so good? Sorry? The Beatles. What, yeah, why, oh. why are they so good? Um, I think it's the ability to write amazing songs when both being really serious and also like kind of just having fun. Like you listen to the White Album, for example, and there'd be Dear Prudence and While My Guitar Gently Weeps, but then there'll be like Wild Honey Pie and they're all just going like, and it's just like really, really weird, and they're just kind of having fun. They're able to do both really, really well, in my opinion. So I just love so much of their songs, and they did so many different things. I think they're able to, you know, not take themselves too seriously, and also make songs like Blackbird, which are very serious and very good. I love the Beatles. Okay. Um, growing up with this kind of music, when did you start to to want to make your own music? Um. I've been writing songs since I can remember. Like okay. I've I've been writing songs for a long, long time. Um, but I guess. Do you remember the first one? Um, I can't say I do. I mean, I'm sure it's awful. <laughs> like if I found it, I would be like, "What is this?" <laughs> but um, I'm pro I probably wrote my first song when I was like five or six okay. years old. Like I, I was, I was. They weren't good at all. Like, sure. but. Um, <laughs> But you know, I um, I guess I kind of started doing this sort of like solo project thing when I was maybe 13 or 14. I'd sort of been playing guitar for a couple of years and I was into singing and um, kind of just stemmed from there. I've been doing it. I mean, it takes a long time to get to make songs that you like, but um, yeah. <laughs> and this is, this might be a difficult question to answer, but. Especially because you say you started at a very early age writing. What, what did you get out of it? I think I just liked doing it. I wanted to... I've always just liked listening to music and I think the creative process around it is quite enjoyable. Um, it can be quite tedious at times depending on how well, well you think the song is going. But um, I think it's just... I've always found music is quite a nice thing and when you can personally make something that you like and you like really enjoy singing and belting out and just right. you know making the most of I think that's you know one of the best feelings in the world and it's just I think I just got I, I do most of the things I do for fun mm -hmm. and it's fun okay. so that's why I do it and then you say at 13 uh, you kind of started the, the, this whole project and then, yeah then, so how long did it take you from that point to write a song that you were proud of? 
I think at the time, like, I was writing songs I was proud okay. of. But, like, looking back on them, um, there, there aren't so many I would listen to now and go, that's good. Like, I kind of go, maybe not. So maybe in a couple of years' time, I'll look back at this record that I'm making and go, that's awful. But, um, you know, I, I, it may be, like, I've been writing for a long time and it maybe took me five or six years of just writing songs like all the time to make something where I was like, actually, this, this isn't that bad. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm not, but you know, I've, I've, I'm always changing my opinion on my songs, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, have, you, have you found something, maybe what makes a good song, what, what a good song needs? I don't think there's a way necessarily of doing that. I think it's, I think mainly what writing good songs comes from is just listening to lots of good music and taking, I mean, not ripping off, but taking sure. aspects of music that that you enjoy and making it your own. Um, I think you can you can only try and make you know music out of what you know or anything out of things that you already know. So you kind of have to just work from listening to lots of music. I think this is the key, the key to it. Just listening to lots, taking in all the music you can, and I think that's how you learn to write songs. And, well, you've mentioned the Beatles. Um, what kind of music w would influence you? David Bowie is one of my favorite. Recently passed away, obviously. Um, Jeff Buckley. I love Nina Simone. Um, I love a lot of bands like The Strokes and stuff like that. I'm into all sorts of different music. Okay. And, well, talking about songwriting, was, was Brazil then for you a turning point? In terms of yeah, the I'd say so. Um, especially recording, it was. It was the first time like I'd worked in a studio. I kind of just got contacted after this guy heard my demo, and he was like, "Hey, I want to produce a song with you," and we did it, and I was really proud of it. Um, it turned out a lot different from how it, I sort of originally meant it to be when I wrote it, like sound-wise. But I think it's a good thing because it probably would have just sounded like I don't know a Mystery Jet song or something <laughs> if it, if I didn't kind of change it. But um, yeah, I, was, I, was, I still am proud of it. I mean, my voice is a little bit higher up, but 